Hello there. Today let's learn how to mind map. Cost volume profit, CVP, analysis. Cost volume profit, CVP, analysis. CVP analysis is used to show how costs and profit changes with changes in volume of activity. CVP analysis is an application of marginal costing concepts. Assumptions in CVP analysis. Costs are either fixed or variable. Fixed costs are normally assumed to remain unchanged at all levels of output. The contribution per unit is constant for each unit sold. Therefore the contribution to sales ration is also a constant value at all levels of sales. Contribution Contribution is a key concept. It is measured as sales revenue, less, variable costs. Contribution per unit is equal to selling price minus variable costs. Contribution, sales ratio, CS, equals contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit. Break-even analysis. Break-even point is the volume of sales where the profit is zero. And the total contribution is exactly equal to the total fixed costs. Management wants to know what the break-even point is in order to Identify the minimum volume of sales in order to avoid a loss. Assess the amount of risk in budget by comparing the budget volume of sales with break-even volume. CVP analysis can be used to calculate a break-even point for sales. Calculating break-even point. Break-even can be calculated as in number of units or in sales revenue. Break-even as number of units. In this method break-even is calculated by using the contribution per unit that is. Break-even is equal to total fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. Once break-even is calculated as a number of units it is easy to express it in terms of revenue by multiplying number of units by selling price. Break-even as sales revenue. In this method break-even is calculated by using the contribution to sales ratio. CS, that is. Break even is equal to total fixed costs divided by CS ratio. Once break even is calculated as in revenue, it is easy to express it in terms of number of units by dividing the revenue by selling price per item. Concept of margin of safety. The margin of safety is the difference between budgeted sales, in units or revenue, and Break even amount of sales, in units or revenue. It is usually expressed as a percentage of the budgeted sales. However, it may be measured as a quantity of units, difference between budgeted sales volume and break even sales volume, or an amount of sales revenue, the difference between budgeted sales revenue and total sales revenue required to break even. At margin of safety, all fixed costs are zero. Any addition would be directly profit. It can be positive or negative. A high margin of safety indicates a low risk of making a loss. Target profit. The amount sales must be known in order to achieve a target profit. CVP analysis can be used to calculate the volume of sales required. The volume of sales required must be sufficient to earn a contribution that covers the fixed costs and make the target amount of profit that is the contribution needed to earn the target profit is target profit plus the fixed costs. Volume target, in units, is equal to total fixed costs plus target profit divided by contribution per unit. Volume target, in revenue is equal to total fixed costs plus target profit divided by contribution to sales ratio. Multi-product CVP analysis. For multi-product CVP analysis there is an assumption that products are sold in set ratio which does not change with volume. This assumption allows to calculate weighted average contribution per unit or per batch and contribution to sales, CS, ratio. In case we have multi-product, the break-even, margin of safety and target profit is calculated as Break-even analysis Break-even in batches is equal to total fixed costs divided by contribution per batch. Average contribution per unit should be used, 
for that multiply sales ratio with contribution per unit of each product and add them. Units can be converted into money value by multiplying with sales price. Break even in revenue is equal to total fixed costs divide CS ratio per batch. For CS ratio per batch, calculate contribution per batch. Calculate average revenue by multiplying sales ratio with selling price of each product. Now divide contribution per batch by average revenue to have CS ratio. Margin of safety. The margin of safety is calculated in same way as for single product by comparing the budgeted activity level to break even activity. The break even can be compared to the budgeted activity level using batches, units, revenues. Target profit. The computation is same as for a single product. The necessary contribution to earn the target profit is the target profit plus the fixed costs. This can be calculated using contribution per unit, batch or CS ratio. Thanks for watching. More stuff coming soon.